hands-on cart like this one is one way that conservation narrators can answer questions about animals, from creepy crawlers to prowling predators. Some people want information. What's this? While others are more interactive. What does it feel like? A piece is part of his tail. Tail, very good, but feel it. It feels like plastic. But there never seems to be a question left unanswered during these one-on-one -on -one talks between zookeepers and guests. I think it's really important that we have people out there to answer questions. Margo McKnight should know. She answers a lot of questions about animals. Some of the best questions are sparked during these hands-on demonstrations. What's great about these carts is we get to come out and share with the guests in our park some of these really neat hands-on things. A lot of these biofacts are things they wouldn't normally see just by coming to the zoo. This is one of our female Asian elephants. Her name is Kaba, and she's about 28 years old. The learning adventure continues inside the animal habitats, where narrators answer specific questions about specific animals. We also have people in our habitats that help the guests interpret what they're seeing. There's a lot of really cool things going on, and here's someone to kind of help you figure things out. Because of these tortoises' size and behavior, that they are mature, and they've been estimated to be anywhere from 50 to 80 years old. From habitats to walking paths, Good, Dewey. Good girl. Zookeepers also bring animals out to guests. The more informed you are about animals, the more interested you're going to be in the conservation of these species. And if we can get the people more interested and be a little more active in conservation, we've done our job. From the silly to the serious, answering questions about animals and animal behavior is the key to education, which is the key to conservation. For Animal Wise, I'm Julie Scardino.